I'm gonna do a walking one. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, today is day 93 of our adventure, day 66 on the trail, and uh, Thursday, July 7th. We're, we're walking through the Ansel Adams Wilderness Area near the Soda Springs Campground, and uh, we are noticing vintage, uh, and look at there, man. See, even with all the destruction, it gets pretty out here. Uh -huh. um, we, we are noticing just the, the, this area for the last, we just got up. We, we've just started, we're probably less than a half a mile in this morning. But yeah, so um, where I was going is, as uh, Vintage just said, we, we hiked at least a mile, probably two or, or three miles of, of um, this area where it appears as if these otherwise big, healthy, trees i i am i'm, I'm i don't mean look this is the soil that it's in you see that it's rocky sandy and we think oh, either a windstorm or a heavy snow took these trees out yeah it, it, it's it's all along this trail here that, i mean you have these big healthy trees still but there's more destruction of the trees in this area. Now we've seen this before where fire has come through or it's evident that just massive windstorms have come through. But we're in a really steep valley here and been in it for the last 10 miles. And we've seen nothing like this where so many trees are down. In Karen's theory, I think, is that the soil is bad and the trees get too big and once they get big enough the, their root system is not strong enough to hold them and a wind comes by and off they go i definitely think that's a viable theory uh, i think maybe some bug got into the root system uh, and caused the roots to get weakened and the wind came that's another theory we talked about the theory of you know maybe this area got a really crazy heavy snow a few years back and tore all this up but look at how they're all scattered and just we're fascinated we're fascinated and 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 vintage here she's gonna holler at you from back behind me go ahead babe i don't know if you want on this video if you want me to do another video about the young ladies there oh well hey we just passed four young ladies sitting on the trail with just probably you know, we, we, we hiked out at 6.40 this morning, so we saw them at 6.50, and go ahead, Vintage. Well, you talked to her first, so all I know is that we were going over a bridge, and I saw this young lady come, clearly she was distressed, and she came and said something to you, and come to find out, there's four young ladies camping at a little camp's across from our campground, so across from the river, they stayed there and they put their bear can near a log near that bridge that goes over the river. And during the night, someone or something, or something and a bear came and strewed their stuff all over the place. And one of the young ladies' bear can is missing. Yeah, no, yeah, it was tough. I mean, you, the, I will tell you, the along the PCT, people look after each other, and I mean, we leave our stuff out in the open and whatnot every day, and nobody talks about theft on the PCT. But uh, you know, that's a story where highly likely that some critter, whatever the critter was, come in and rolled that bear canister away, and. Uh, you know, whether they got into it or not, who's ever going to know? But uh, it does make it challenging for that hiker. And there, luckily, there's four of them together. It doesn't look like they're on the timeline. So 
the the three of them didn't look too awful distressed like hey we'll take a shuttle we'll go into red's meadow and um pct 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 so anyways hey we're gonna cut this one short it's getting long cut this one short it's getting long we're gonna cut this one off it's getting long and just say uh good morning to everybody we love you and if anybody's got the answers to why those trees are like that and this portion of the forest is like this please let us know very important bye-bye